Bob, so at, at this point, you, you get a little while before you play, go to Portland, but are, are you guys ready for this step up? Do you think you still have questions? I asked that of players. Well, I got a lot of questions, but um, I, I don't know. I don't know um, how to tell. We've got a lot of work to do. You, you, we don't rebound the ball the way you need to rebound the ball. We don't rebound it defensively the way you need to, and we don't rebound it offensively the way you need to. I thought we passed the ball better, which was an improvement. I thought we got it out in transition a little bit better than what we have been. But offensively, we weren't, we weren't sharp. And we've got a lot of work to do. Players talked about rebounding, um, and I mean they pointed that as well. You sort of thought that wouldn't be a problem at the beginning of the year. Is it, is it just early, too early to tell, or is it a bigger problem that maybe you envision? Well, some of it is they take a lot of perimeter shots, and you know the ball banging off the front of the rim, perimeter shots, and we don't rebound it offensively because we bang too many off the front of the rim. Uh, We've got to do a better job, and and we, you know, we were, they're they're taking long shots too, which generally bounce longer. So that it, that's that was, that's that's a little harder to gauge, I think, because of where their shots were taken from. And Bobby, get up to a good start. You shoot well, make threes, not a lot of turnovers. What does what does sharp look like? We, we, that we that we offensively we pass it better. We we uh, we how many do we throw out of bounds in transition, or how many do we throw um, to the other team when we're trying to make a hero play? Those things we got to wipe out. We we can't. There's probably been at least five or six times that we've we've had transition two on one or. Uh, Sometimes three on one, instead of making the appropriate pass, we try to throw it up over the backboard so some guy can jump up and miss it. Today, just once, but was it sustaining level of good play that wasn't sharp enough for you, or was there could have done better offensively? We didn't. We we didn't execute a lot of the things that have been really good for us. Um, I don't really want to get into that. Now, because I'm sure Purdue'd love to read up on it, but we, we've just got to we've got to get we got to get. I, I think consistency, Mike, might be the best word. We 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 lack consistency at this point in time, and we lack consistency at the defensive end. I and mean, how many times were we standing there staring at the ball and they cut behind us for layups? That's really inexcusable. After a couple of years of having trouble shooting the ball, it has to be kind of nice not to wince every time the ball goes up. I mean, you're, you're shooting over 50% most games now. Yeah. I mean, we, we, have, we have certainly uh, several guys who can make shots, which has a tendency to spread defenses out a lot more. And... Just hope that they keep making them. I, I thought we had more than what are making shots now. We have some guys that are struggling right now. What do you think of your bench? Maybe not six and number 67, but deeper. What do you think of those guys? They're young. They're young. They're inexperienced. Uh, probably for the majority of them, it's the first time they played in front of a crowd like that. They got a ways to go. They got a ways to go, but they're they, they work at it. They're 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 challenged every day by the older guys, which you would hope would continue to to make them grow and be better. The the shooting, man. I know other people have asked about it. I mean, we've gone into other. Preseasons, and you've talked about you know, hey, we've got some guys who can make some shots, and then sometimes it just doesn't hasn't always panned out. Uh, 
that way. This year, it's, it's been a different story so far, and I'm just kind of wondering, has it just been, you know, because the different guys are here, or is there anything more to it than that? Because, I mean, I can't, you know, like Bob said, you guys are shooting over 50% through four games. We made a conscious effort to recruit some guys who could make shots. I mean, we knew Eric Stevenson could make shots. He made shots against us uh, in uh, in Mexico. Um, obviously, Trey's history is 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 he can certainly make shots. Uh, Keedy's really worked at his game. Keedy's gotten much better. Keedy's very capable of making shots. Joe's really worked hard at his. Uh, you know, Joe was pretty much a driver but then he's 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 starting to make shots for us consistently you know it's 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 a matter of of those guys putting time in a matter of those guys uh continue to continue to grow um you know there for a while i mean honestly i thought some of our freshmen shot it better than our older guys our freshmen sophomores whatever they were but as as kind of we've gone along and, and the competition has kind of stepped up a little bit. See, those guys, those guys that, that we talked about early on are, they're so much used to being, to being run at, to, to have people flying at them, to, to, to have to get the, get the ball off a little quicker, to, to have to throw it a little higher. Um, and, and because they've, they've, they've had to play against it for, quite a while now the freshmen don't see that I mean the freshmen go out there and shoot and make five shots in a row and think they've got it figured out and then all of a sudden you've got a, a, a big flying at you and you've got to try to get it over top of them or or bounce it and go around them and now you're you're bouncing and going around and it's it, it's uh it's harder to shoot it off the move Seeing how you respond when this team gets punched in the mouth, you're going to face good teams that are going to make runs with you. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. I... I think that the the guys that we talked about earlier will be consistent. I think they'll, I think they'll relish the opportunity to play. You know. The, the thing that you that you wonder about is they got a guy whatever he is seven two seven four we haven't seen that uh, that's different and it 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 I think you know he affects the game in a lot of ways he affects the game and in his ability to score the ball and he and he scores it over people and I've I've, I've watched him this year I mean it's just it's easy for him to score it over people. Uh, he, he missed a he missed a shot the one game I saw and it it came off the rim and he dunked it and he didn't jump I mean and he's not just tall he's he's big he's strong he's they've they've done a terrific job with him Paint's done a terrific job with him you know, there's not many games Jimmy's going to go into and be a small smaller guy I mean what do you tell him in a, in a matchup like that well. You know, there there there's more on the floor, Justin, than ten, sure. ten players. You know, so those other three guys uh, depend on how they see the game. Regarding um, responding to challenges or whatever, maybe the first four games didn't do it for you, but practices and it just seems like the the attitude the guys have is that prepared as maybe as much as the game's actually They like each other. I mean, they, 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 really, they really get along. Um, Emmett's been terrific. Emmett's been, Emmett's been our, our, our rock when it comes to um, communicating with guys. Uh, and, and, and he knows everybody. He's... He's been at it a long time, and you know, of course, he and Eric grew up together. Um, he's been really good, but they, they, I mean, they they get along. They they we don't have 
we don't have the issues where you know one guy's afraid some guy's getting more shots than him or or whatever. I mean, they generally do like each other. How did you go this long in coaching, and this was your first game against an Ivy League team? Well, I should have been an Ivy Leaguer probably with my intelligence. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I Really, is that the truth? I'm, that's the first time I've coached against an Ivy League team. Hmm. It's a good thing I waited a while, huh? Well, it's it, it's really valuable. Uh, you, there's there's a lot of teams where there's uh, a lot of jealousy. Uh, sometimes you just don't like guys. You know, I mean, I've I've had I've had some teams where there were maybe a couple guys that just didn't like each other, and that happens. That happens in that's that happens in real life, and it happens in. Um, Virtually any occupation. That sooner or later you're going to run into that. Bob Perez on the bench. Uh, obviously, <coughs> messed put out the release that he's enrolled. So, any clues to when you get to work with him? No. No. Just waiting to hear. Anything else? When. Um, when you were scouting Joe Tucson and you know thinking about bringing him in here, the offensive game he's shown so far this year, were, were you expecting him? Because obviously his numbers now are a little bit better than what he had at Iowa. Uh, so, I mean, what he's doing now, is it a, a plus? I mean, did you have other ideas when you brought him in? Or? Well, I loved his energy. I loved his energy and uh, – Obviously, I saw Iowa play during the year, uh, and uh, they had two or three guys that were really, really good shooters, and two or three guys that really expected that they were the ones who were supposed to shoot. So I think Je uh, his role was more push it in pa in transition. Uh, you know, if he can get it at the rim, and don't don't take shots away from those other guys. Maybe part of the talk then when you brought him in, hey, you know, we can give you a chance to shoot it. I mean, not really, not really. I mean, they, he came in with his family, his, his his mother and father, great people. They 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 like what we had to say. They like the fact that. You know, they're, they're New York people. They like the fact that this is a college town. Uh, you know, they like the fact that uh, we walk into breakfast and people stand up from the table and walk over and say, you know, hey, coach, you know, you're doing a great job or whatever. They, 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 loved, they loved the fact that, that people were friendly and, and, and nice and... Uh, and we we tried to sell the fact that this is a this is a really good place. This is a uh, this is a this is a state that that loves sports, and 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 love West Virginia University. How much differently is he playing now, though, than what he was at Iowa? He's shooting it better. Yeah. He's shooting it better, but I don't know if he's if he's playing all that much different, Justin. I mean, we're. He, he, I think he's 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 become more of a point guard, you know. Yeah. But playing against Keaty's helped him a lot too. I don't know the he is he is really really fast, but so is Keaty. Yeah. So those guys those guys going head to head, I think every day does nothing but make both of them better. Coach, thank you. Mm-hmm.